I feel like I'm the only foreigner here because local people all put up their glasses and look at me like this. temple which is called Wat Tat. This temple is constructed in typical Lao design. It's quite big. It was constructed in the 17 and 89 and sometimes it's called Old City Temple. Let's have a look. First of all, thanks for joining me in this episode and I promise you will like it. I was invited here to attend the wedding of my dear friend, Katie. Thanks to this amazing opportunity, I had a chance to discover Isan, the region I wanted to visit for a long time. What do you know about Isan? By the way, Isan is the largest region of Thailand. However, it is often neglected by tourists who seek beach life and parties. Isan is not about it. But it is a wonderful region to visit if you are tired of Khao San Road, one temple after another, or lounging on a beach. Isan is a place where Laos, Cambodia and Thailand meet, making it a multicultural center. Also known as Thailand's rice bowl, Isan is a very agricultural region with a slightly different, more laid-back culture, wonderful warm people and even has its own language and cuisine. Keep watching and I will show you delicious Isan food. This is the traditional local Isan market and here you can find like local special Isan food. Normally Isan food is quite spicy. Just look at these people, how friendly and open they are. Should I mention that they are always like to meet a foreigner? Here you can see some local dishes. Which one would you like to try? This local market is a real paradise for a budget traveler. You can buy some time for one or two dollars only. Selling a live produce is a part of culture of many Asian countries. Alive means fresh and good. Guys, I'm eating chicken liver. This one is a chicken liver, like this. And just now I had a chicken heart. As a, I think the typical thing from Isan, Isan food, a bit spicy actually. Thing together, good one. Like, um, lemongrass and uh, lemon, like this. Lemongrass and Thai And ha, And as I love spicy, I would just add some chili here, and then. It's so cool. Yeah. Wow. I love it. As I've mentioned, Isan food 
is known even in Mount Thais for being fearly hot. Isang cuisine borrowed many recipes and style of cooking from Lao cuisine and that made it different from Central Thai cooking. But there can be some exceptions for Western friends like myself. Friends share all dishes because eating is a social occasion. If you eat some of the food ties offer you, then you will have friends for life. intestines of cow and uh, we cook it uh, in this hot pot so I will try mm. it's actually very very good it's kind of sweet and a very chewy I love it a lot Wow. Yeah, that's really good. And how you, you, you yeah, yeah, so we are just, uh, if you see somewhere that it's like, they do not well, like clean not well, it smells like strong because oh. they have a lot of fun. Yeah. Is that? And wet until you go. Yeah. And this way it's a lever. I want to try that. Yeah. And lever as well. It was good. <laughs> also, historically, Konkan is quite a new town established in 1783 during the reign of King Rama I. Nowadays, it plays an important role as the center of the Northeast region. Here is located Kong Khan University, a main hub of technology and education. Do you know that Kong Khan is famous for its silk production when it is delicately woven by hand using the tie-dye technique. In general, I had a feeling that this peaceful provincial town has a laid-back vibe with happy and friendly people. Kong Khan is inviting to come and enjoy the tranquility and get positive mood, for example, by joining sports with locals. in uh, Mahasarakam. I feel like I'm the only foreigner here because local people all put up their glasses and look at me like this. But you shouldn't be annoyed or angry of that. Isan people are just curious and happy to see a foreigner. And now we are exploring one of the temples. And traditional Lana style of the uh, northeastern part of uh, Thailand. Let's have a look a little bit. Isan is a good place to get off the beaten track. That's why the relative isolation and underdevelopment of the region means this is not a path well trodden by tourists. Living in Bangkok, I still can say that not many Thai people speak English, not mentioning other languages. It's better if you make an effort and learn some useful phrases in Thai 
like the ones my dear friend taught me. Believe me, you will be rewarded as Islam people are kind-hearted, generous, and welcoming. By the way, did you know that there is an Isan language, a dialect of Lao, and it is predominant in the region? People also speak Khmer due to a close proximity of Cambodia. And of course, they all speak Thai because it is an official language and is taught at school. So, don't be surprised when you find out that a local lady selling fish in the market can speak two or three languages. Mahasarakam is the capital city of Mahasarakam province in Thailand's Isan region. Mahasarakam is located 475 km northeast of Bangkok and 73 km southeast of Konkan. The city has long been known as a regional education center. It is home to six colleges, including Mahasarakam University, which I will show you after in this video. Sarakam, like locals call it, has the feel of a student town with the younger, more cosmopolitan population. To cater the needs of its local young population, today Mahasarakam numbers two cinemas, a modern department store, and a market, and branches of major retailers. There has been extensive building to attract more people to move here, especially on the eastern borders of the city. Thanks to my friend, I had an opportunity to visit this beautiful region that I wanted to visit for a long time. I can now truly say that this is an undiscovered magic land worth visiting and discovering its treasures. Do you agree with me? Would you like to visit Islam? as my loyal subscribers and friends who follow me in my adventures, which of my travels did you enjoy the most? What do you want to see more in my upcoming episodes? Share your ideas and comments. And don't forget to subscribe. In my next episode, I will show you the closest city to Myanmar border, Maya Sot. See you in the next weekend.